Hi, my name is Brandon Gray. I am the System Link Product Support Engineer, and today we are going to be talking about the System Link Test Module. The System Link Test Module was added with System Link 18.0, and it adds the functionality to integrate your System Link clients with Test Stand to provide reporting on Test Stand sequences that are running. So once you install the test module, the first thing you'll see is the test monitor application, which will be added to your System Link server. Once you open the application, the first thing you'll be greeted with is a grid of all of the test sequences that are running on clients that have elected to report to the System Link server. In this grid, we'll see some general information about the different sequences that were run, including the system it was run on, the test program that was run, and most notably, the status of that sequence. If you're interested in getting more detailed information about this sequence, you can click the gear to open up the details page. On this page, it will include a little bit more detailed information about the sequence that was run, as well as an attachments and steps section. The system link client automatically uploads any reports generated by the test stand sequence. Test stand, by default, generates an XML report, but can be configured to generate an HTML report, a custom report, or can be configured to turn reporting off. In this specific details page, we also see a TDMS file. Additional files can be included with test reports. In order to do this, you have to configure the test and sequence itself to include that file. And once it's configured that way, any client running that sequence will upload the file with a test and it will be available for viewing here. The steps section will walk through and outline the steps included in the sequence. In that section, you'll also see the elapsed time for each step, as well as the status of that step. One feature that we've added with 18.2 is the ability to view TDMS data. The TDMS data is viewable from both the test details page, as well as the higher level grid. To show this, we'll go ahead and go to the high level grid. Here, if you select a test that includes TDMS data, you'll see the button at the top, Activate. Additionally, you have the ability to view multiple TDMS files at once. So clicking multiple tests that include TDMS data will open those TDMS files in the TDMS data viewer. Along the left, you'll see the different TDMS files that were included, and you can optionally select one or multiple to show them at the same time. Additionally, since this is a graph, you can pan, zoom, and do other operations to more closely look at your data, as well as look at individual data points. Next, I wanted to go into how to configure both your System Link server and clients to view and report data. For installing the System Link test module on your System Link server, you'll use Package Manager just like you have before. The System Link test module can be found by going to the Browse Products tab and then searching for System Link test. Here you'll see an item called System Link Server Test Module, and this is the one that you'll want to install. As you see, I already have it installed. For the System Link client, you'll also want to make sure that you've added support for the test module. In order to add support for the test module with the System Link client, you'll have to select them as additional add-ons. In order to select those additional add-ons, you'll want to make sure that you have Test Stand installed first. If you install the System Link client before installing Test Stand, you can go back and turn on the test module support. To do that, go into the Installed tab, find the System Link client. If you click this gear over here, you'll have the ability to select additional items to install, and you'll want to make sure that the Skyline Test Monitor support is selected and installed. But as you see here, mine is already installed. Next, I wanted to go through how to configure Test Stand to report to the System Link server, as well as how to configure Test Stand to upload files with your test sequences. So here I have Test Stand 2017. To start out, what you want to do is configure results processing. So to do that, you want to go to the Configure menu at the top, go to Results Processing, and you'll want to add the System Link client as an option. To add the System Link client as an option, first you'll want to click the Show More Options, click the Insert New button, and choose System Link Test Monitor Client. This will add System Link Test Monitor results reporting to your test and sequences. Additionally, you can add individual steps to upload files that are generated from your sequence. To do this, you want to right click the Steps menu, go Insert Step, Go down to System Link, 
and you'll have actually a couple of options. The get address groups, get email templates, and email notifications can be used to send emails as a step in your test stand sequence, but the upload file is the one that we're currently interested in. With this step, you can upload by path or attach by file ID. Uploading by path is simply providing the path to the file on disk for which you wish to upload. On the other hand, attaching by file ID is associating an already uploaded file to this test. For example, if you have a VI that produces a TDMS file and saves it on disk, you have two options for associating that file to this test on your system link server. To use the upload by path method, simply pass back the path to your file to test stand and save it as a variable and put that variable in this prompt here. Alternatively, to use the attach by file ID, you can upload the file in your VI to your system link server and use the file ID that the upload VI returns and pass that back to test stand and save it as a variable. Then, by placing the ID here, instead of uploading the file again, it will simply associate the file that has already been uploaded to this test step. I hope this video was helpful in getting you started with a system link test module. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.